I can't. I can't. I woke up at 5.55 this morning. Couldn't go back to sleep. And now here we are. I finally got up and got out of bed, but oh my gosh. I just can't believe, I must be like really excited or something for life to wake up at 5.55 and just not be able to go back to sleep. So, good morning. By the way, um, Christian went home for the weekend. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I literally have the worst tired morning voice right now, but whatever. Um, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm gonna make my morning lemon water and then rush into coffee um, because it is definitely needed for today. Just made one of my favorite breakfasts to have on the weekends. If you haven't seen any of my past vlogs, they're kind of recent vlogs, maybe like a month old. I just discovered this combination of food. So it's kind of like avocado toast, but it's with the Trader Joe's frozen hash browns in the air fryer. A avocado and just like a runny egg on top with everything but the bagel seasoning so 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 good it's my favorite breakfast combination I'm just gonna eat it and watch some YouTube okay it is a little bit later in the day it's 11:30. I feel kind of tired I just can't believe that I woke up at 5 55 this morning and was fully awake wired and ready to go and tackle the day I think I just had a lot on my mind and a lot of stuff that I feel like I need to get done today I need to go get some boxes today if you missed two vlogs ago I made the announcement that Christian and I are moving and we actually, I don't know why I waited so long to share, but I, we literally toured apartments in April. Like April 11th is when we toured apartments and it's June 19th now. So I literally have just kept it a secret for two months. We weren't necessarily sure that we were moving, but I feel like for the past like four or five months, I've been kind of wanting to move because if you missed it, go check out that video. We've just had a lot of issues with this apartment. So if you want a little story time and more details, I'll link it down below. So that way you can check it out. But yeah, so we're moving and there's just a lot of reasons why we're moving, but it has nothing to do with like I, I love this apartment. It's very nice. It's very spacious and we're in like a quiet area, which I love. But there's just a lot, a lot of issues. Yeah. Anyways, we're moving. So I need to go get some boxes, some packing paper and start packing up just little things that I know that I can pack up. I a few months ago when I got new dishes from Crate and Barrel, I actually saved the box and all the paper in that because when our lease is up, I knew that we would be moving. I just, I just had this feeling, so I saved it. So I wanted to go to, I think I saw the wagon. It sounds weird saying it, a wagon, but it's like a fabric wagon that condenses and you can like throw it in your trunk. But I thought that'd be easy to cart and haul things up into the apartment. We're on the third floor. So um, I just figured it'd be easy to have the wagon like long term. So that way I can put everything in my trunk and then that way only take like very few trips with the wagon. I don't know. I just know that moving into this apartment, it was exhausting and it took the absolute life out of me. And this time we're getting movers for our big stuff. And then our small stuff will obviously move ourselves. So I'm really happy about that because I do not want to move that couch or our bed, mattress, any of that stuff. Also, I, we were supposed to get the keys Monday, but we're actually, I'm going there tomorrow because you can like have the option to text them. So I texted them and said, hey, like I don't get out of work until 5.30, so I can't guarantee, like I get home at 5.55 on the dot, always. 
what is this with 555 like i don't really know do i need to look up look that up i don't know i texted them and i was like hey i really don't know what time i'll get there i know you guys close at six what do i need to bring i know i need to like bring obviously money for the deposit and for the rest of rent but really nice thing about moving too is we got two free months of rent moving to this place so um, july and august are free so i'm so grateful for that too um we just have to pay for the rest of june so we're putting we're pay basically paying rent for the rest of june and then july's rent is free and then august's rent is free so I texted them and said, actually, you can come Sunday and drop off like the payments and pick up the keys and all that stuff. So I'm going tomorrow and I'm so excited to go tomorrow. I thought I had to wait until Monday, but we actually haven't even seen the apartment. Um, we saw like a model that looked just like it. I think maybe the layout's a little bit different. Like maybe the kitchen's on the other side or it's swapped, but I get to see it tomorrow. I think I get to see it tomorrow. So we get the keys tomorrow and then I go to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I have Thursday, Friday off. And then the following Monday, Saturday, next Saturday, a week from today is when the movers come and we officially move. Here we are. Here we are. I looked like a total idiot in there, I swear. I looked like a total idiot in there because I was trying to, I'm like the queen of one trip, like one trip type of gal. So I was trying to carry six <laughs> medium boxes and four small boxes and wrapping paper in my hands. I, you know, I like to do things myself at just one trip and I just believe in myself like wholeheartedly. So I was like up for the challenge and he was like, ma'am, you can go ahead and um, pull your car up and around and I'll, I'll bring this stuff to you. And I was like, okay, thank you, I'm sorry. Here we are, a year later, moving again. I was talking to um, a family right outside just now because I was asking them if they have had any issues with roaches because if you saw my vlog about where I like said that I was keeping a secret I've basically been keeping a secret for a year that we have had a roach issue and they said they've been living here for five years and they saw a roach like here and there and they live literally right down the hall from me I just wanted to ask because I really am curious I really want to ask the people that live below us but I never see them outside of their apartment. So I don't want to go like knock on their door and bother them, but I'm just very curious if anyone else is having the same issues, but they said that they have not seen any roaches and they've been here five years. And I'm just like, let's start, let's move. I just packed up the first box and I was like, hmm, I need a Sharpie. The Sharpie's in the box because it's with the pens. The farther I get into this, the more I realize that I should have put all that stuff in a big box because I have more stuff that's like the same. Am I gonna run out of boxes? This whole place is gonna be packed up and Christian's gonna come home and be like, what the heck? Okay. This is how I feel about packing and the moving process and how I just want it to be done at the snap of a finger. <laughs>
just packed up this box with basically you're on the tripod still um but basically all of our cups and stuff i'm gonna take those out next i'm leaving this stuff so that way we have cups for like water drinks whatever coffee stuff like that and then i'm gonna take this shelf out but I'm gonna take that out next. Put all of the wine glasses, coffee cups, mugs, everything in here. Okay, <laughs> I have laundry going. I'm leaving the apartment a disaster. Stuff is everywhere. I just packed a little bag to go over to Taylor's for wine night. So, this is the perk of having Christian as like a liquor and wine salesman is there's always liquor and wine in the cabinet. I want them to try the garden spritz because it's so good and I'm such a fan. And this is like one glass. So I brought, I'm bringing all of them and then this red bottle of wine and we're gonna order pizza. Um, it's my old password plus just these, these are so dainty to me. I'm scared that if I drink out of them I'll break them. Oh, they're dainty, like Mr. Breton said dainty. They're sweeties. Which ones? Okay. Are you gonna have a uh, spritz too? Yeah. Okay. I should probably just take the glasses and Let me know your guys' thoughts on this because Hi, can I have a grande iced coffee with almond milk? Thank you. You too. Hello, it is the next day. I just got home from Whole Foods and Starbucks and Target. Got my dad a Father's Day card. I know I'm really last minute. And then I went to Whole Foods to get milk that I love for my, my coffee. This is my favorite and it's better for you than Oatly. So this has knocked Oatly out of first place. This is really good and it's healthier. Went to Whole Foods to get that because that's the only grocery store where I can find it at. And when I was in Whole Foods, I saw this little Yeti wine tumbler. And my dad doesn't have anything like this. He's a wine drinker, loves Chardonnay. I'm actually gonna get him a bottle of Chardonnay to go along with this and the cart that I got him. Okay guys, I am here at the apartment. Here's a sneak peek, that's all you get. I'm so excited, so pumped. chaos i got a wagon i'll show you when i go down to my car my dad's girlfriend actually had the wagon that i was going to buy at academy sports in her trunk so she's letting me borrow it and i'm gonna see if i even like like it need it for groceries or anything like that i'm actually gonna bring a few boxes over to the new apartment because i'm already like sweaty i'm already just in the groove of things I'm tearing my trunk apart, but here is the wagon that I'm gonna use to carry these boxes up into our new apartment. Sorry, I'm so out of breath. But this is what I was gonna buy 
and she just had it in her trunk. So I'm gonna bring a few boxes to the new apartment. This, <laughs> this is why I can't deal with myself. I'm so impatient. Like if I could move the whole entire apartment tonight, I would. I just want it done already. So I'm bringing some stuff over to the apartment now. We'll see how well the little wagon back there comes in handy. I'm excited because we won't have to take as many trips from the car. So let's do this. He even has a cup holder. <laughs> this is incredible. Okay, I emptied out what was in these boxes, got back to the old apartment, I guess, current apartment, <laughs> not the new one, and um, I showered and I wanted to end off this vlog right here. Christian and I are going to meet at the new apartment. He hasn't seen it yet because obviously he was in South Florida this weekend. But he's driving back currently and he should be back in the next 20 or 30 minutes. So it's almost 10. It's based, I'm, it, I need to go to bed, but I want to meet him there. And yeah, so we're going to meet there probably in the next 30 minutes. So it's probably going to be a late bedtime and then I have work in the morning. And I work until Wednesday so I will see you guys Thursday for the moving vlogs so make sure you're subscribed to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video bye